Hi everyone, Manuela Marcajani from Isomer Skin Care. Welcome to our channel. This is a channel about skin care, skin formulation, skin chemistry, um, and ingredients in skin care. I'm a cosmetic chemist with over 35 years experience, not only as a formulator, someone who makes skincare products and studies aging in the skin, I also was a sufferer uh, with really bad skin issues as a very young girl. Not just acne, but also immune deficiencies. And this is really important because I think I've got a, a unique perspective and story and experience where skincare is concerned. So I'm hoping to be able to share that information with you here on this channel. How does aging affect collagen production? Okay, so collagen is the most abundant protein of the connective tissue. So basically, we're not just talking about the skin here, we're talking about your joints, your cartilage, your connective tissue, everything that's holding everything together. There are different forms of collagen and collagen is the most abundant protein. In your skin, collagen again, is what you're seeing when you're looking at your skin. You're looking at your collagen, you're looking at it at its current age, at its current stage, at its current health. So. When we're young, and by young, I'm going to say under 20, we make an abundance of collagen and we make nice, young, fresh collagen. It's fresh, it's juicy, it's plentiful. There is no deficiency. So if your body or your system, your skin, your organs, your joints require a certain amount of collagen, your body is able to create that. When you hit 20, 22, 25, in that range, okay, so it, it happens pretty quickly, our bodies start to make less and less collagen. Some people will say that we make about 1% less every year. We don't know the actual number, but we do know that collagen production in your body starts to decline. So what does that mean? That means as collagen production in your body starts to decline, the collagen that you have, so you don't have an abundance, what you have left or what is present there is now aging. So you're making less fresh collagen. Collagen that you have that's hanging around is already now aging, changing, denaturing, okay? And you start to see visible signs of aging. You'll start to see lines and wrinkles. You'll start to see dryness. You'll start to notice that your skin is behaving differently. It's more rough or less flexible. So what happens as we age, we are making less collagen. The collagen that we have is breaking down. It's not as sophisticated, so it's actually aging with us. And this is why uh, collagen production or using supplementation, like eating a, a good healthy diet you know we have good quality water uh, really good you know fresh in season vet fruits and vegetables good proteins these are all helpful because it's going to actually help with the collagen and then using things topically like peptides uh, to build collagen or to signal fresh collagen is also very important and the other thing that's really super important to okay we can't prevent the collagen from slowing down in our body and we can't prevent the fact that the collagen that we do have is you know denaturing but we can actually affect the rate at which it falls apart and that's really manageable and the secret to that is using sunscreen the more you use sunscreen and you use sunscreen on a daily basis the more you're able to protect the collagen that you have Studies are actually showing that people who use sunscreen every day have 24% younger collagen than those who use it intermittently. I don't even know what the number is if you're not using it at all. So there is a lot you can do with your collagen or to protect what you have and keep it looking its very best. If you enjoyed this conversation on collagen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, have a great day.